and I am going to tell you all about the Great Plague. Now listen! Everybody thinks the plague is my fault, but that's not true. It is the fleas' fault. The fleas hitched the ride on me and my friends, and they carried the plague. The fleas bit the humans, the humans got the plague, and they died! The Great Plague wasn't the first plague or even the most powerful, but it was the last huge epidemic of the plague. An epidemic is what we call when a disease spreads and 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 lots of people get it. During the Great Plague, 15% of people in London died. That's one and a half out of every ten people. People call this the Black Death. Dun, dun, dun. The plague had come to London before and many times. The Black Death arrived from Asia in the 1340s. It probably killed one out of three people in Europe. London was hit every few years. What we know as the Great Plague was the outbreak that came to London in 1665. When people caught the plague, this is what would happen. You would get a headache and a fever. Then your arm, leg or back would hurt. Bumps would grow on your skin. They would turn black and burst open and pus and blood would come out. You would start to bleed on the inside of your body and blood would come out in your wiggy and poo. Yuck, I do not like the sound of that. Let's go on a little trip and I'll tell you more. We are in Ian in Derbyshire. I have come here because the plague has a special history in Ian. In 1665, a parcel full of crop came from London. And hidden in the crop were fleas. And remember, the plague is the fleas fault. Blame the fleas, not the rats. Blame the fleas, not the rats. The tailor of Ian was the first victim to die. In the next 14 months, 260 people in the village died from the plague. Nearly a third of everybody living there. From here, the plague could have spread all over the north of England. But it didn't. Do you want to know why? Because the villagers did something very brave. They stayed in the end. William Mumberton told the villagers that they should shut down the village. Food was delivered to the boundary stone near the village. And money to pay for it was left in holes filled with vinegar so that it would not carry the plague. This is Ian Church. We are now allowed to film inside it. But when you go in, you will find lots of memories of the Great Plague. People did not know how the plague started, so they did not know how to fight it. They had lots of crazy ideas. Eating a spoonful of treacle, not eating lettuce, smoke, putting a headless chicken on the sick person. Of course, none of these worked. They even killed about 40,000 dogs and 200,000 cats in London. And that made things worse. People also tried lots of herbs and charms to fight the plague. And my friend Toby will show you how to make one. Hello everybody. I'm going to show you how to make a pomander. A pomander was a pendant full of herbs and spices. People thought that this would fight the plague. Poor people's pomanders were made out of wood. But rich people's pomanders were made out of gold and silver. We are going to make a silver one. For our pomander, you'll need a 
sleigh ball that can open. You get them from machines where you put some money in, you turn a knob and you get it. Make sure it's nearly this size. You'll need a waterproof pen, a thick, a thick needle, or a Dremel, some silver or gold paint, a paintbrush, and some herbs and spices. First, you get your play ball. Then, you use your waterproof pen to draw dots and lines. You might have a design like this or it might look different. For the next bit you'll need a grown up to help you. You can use a thick pin or Dremel to, to turn all the lines and dots into holes. When you're finished it might look like this and make sure you've cleaned the edges. Next you need to paint it. You might want to stick it on a skewer for this and here we go. When you've painted two layers of paint and they've dried then you'll put some herbs and spices in the pomanda. And here's for the magic ingredient, the word abracadabra comes from the times of the plague. Remember, people didn't know how the plague started. So fighting it with magic words was as good a guess as any. Let's fold it up and put it in the pomander. This is it. Let's close it. If you want to, they can put it on a chain and you can even use it as a Christmas decoration. Thank you, Toby. Toby and I had lots of fun today. We hope that you enjoyed learning about the Great Plague. And remember, do not blame the rats. And see you next time. Bye.